So, today I'm going to be taking a trip to a place called Bell's Rapids. So, plenty of fuel, shouldn't take too long, so let's go. So here we are, we have arrived at Bells Rapids. Wasn't too much of a trip. I had reasonable traffic, as you can see. So to get here, you wanna go, if you're coming from Midland, you wanna go north on Great Northern Highway, and then you wanna turn right on Cathedral Road. Cathedral. And then you wanna follow that all the way to the end. When you hit the terminating road, if you branch off just slightly to the left, You'll see the road actually continues all the way up to the river and you arrive where I've stopped um, in the car park area. So let's go check it out. Here we are, Bells Rapids. And there's some planes flying overhead. I'm just hiking along one of the trails. Now remember, comfortable and sturdy footwear always so let's head along this trail here if you head along this trail right at the end if you drive all the way to the end you'll see a a white gate with a little sign that says no trespassing just to the north of that is this walk track that I'm walking down now and you'll reach the bridge that goes over the Swan River Back to in a sec. So here we are. There's the river. You can hear it in the background, obviously. Now, the local shire has put a sign up that says maximum bridge capacity 500 persons. Now, the reason for that is because this is one of the main sections that the Avon descent goes through. <coughs> Avon descent is a yearly uh, water race. Starts in Northern and it ends in Bayswater. As you can see, it's flowing quite well. Now there are fish in here. There are fish in this area, so you can fish it. I personally haven't caught any. All right, continue on. As you can hear the rapids. They move all the way along here, just out of shot. And then just around the corner. And now that I moved away, it's just a bit quieter. So, it's a nice place to bring the kids. Spend the morning out. Have a bit of a hike. Have a bit of a fish if that takes you fancy. You can have a wander. Now you can wander through all this. Uh, the track ends just over here. And then it runs down here all the way into where the rock area is i don't recommend hiking through all that 
because on the other side of the river there's plenty of tracks so we'll head back to the other side Gotta take care. It's a rough surface uh, in the cold of months. Closer to winter when there's a bit of rain, this gets incredibly slippery. So just watch your footing. Just up there is my vehicle. Just up at the top of that ridge. And I've just taken this track down here, followed it down to here, and I've ended up where I am now. Now the water is low because as you can see, just here, the really white bit, midway through those rocks, between the green and the brown, that's the high tide point. So the water is very low at the moment. Now a lot of these smaller tracks, like this track here that I just walked down, they are renowned for snakes so just watch your footing watch all the rock areas and generally snakes will come out in the sun occasionally they do migrate so you just need to take care if you've got kids make sure they've got closed shoes now before anybody asks yes you can swim in it and no there are no crocodiles in it no reported sightings of crocodiles. There are reportings of obviously snakes, bobtails, etc. General wildlife, but no crocs. So yes, you can swim in it. And this place is great in summer, except it tends to dry up a fair bit.
there's a puddle for the little ones to play in as opposed to the slightly bigger puddle there's something about water that is just incredibly calming this whole place is just incredibly calming